Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the 10 years and 5 years settlement route in the UK. I understand so many persons still do not understand the difference between the 10 years settlement route and the 5 years settlement route. It's popular among migrants to talk about the 5 years settlement route, but that of the 10 years settlement route most persons do not talk about it. A recent statistics that was released by the UK Home Office show that 51% uh, of those that gain settlement through the 10 years settlement route are Asians, while 36% of those that gain settlement are Africans, right, through the 10 years settlement route, while that of the 5 years settlement route 57% of those that gain settlement in the UK through the five years settlement route are Asians, while 19% are Africans. So you can see people are getting settlement through the 10 years ILR route than the five years ILR route. So these are many more we'll be sharing in this video. So if you to know more about this, you need to stick with me to the end of this video so we can dive straight into it and explain what the difference and how you can attain settlement through the five years or ten years ILR route. Hi guys, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. As you all know, my name is Victor. In this channel, I share latest updates on UK immigration policies, changes and other UK immigration news. I also give updates on ways you can study abroad. If this content looks exciting to you and you gain value for this video, you can hit the subscribe button to join the amazing evergreen family and for my returning subscribers thank you very much for always coming back to watch my video i do appreciate you guys so guys let's get straight into today's video if you're a migrant living in the uk on a pre-settlement visa there are different means you can attain settlements here in the uk after you've lived legally for a certain period of time you have the marriage visa. If you are married to a British citizen, you can attend settlement through that means. If you are married to a British citizen, right? And also, if you have a child, right, with a British citizen, right, one of the parents is a British citizen, you can use that as a means to get um, settlement here in the UK. We have the five years ILR route, right, those unskilled workers. And we also have the 10 years indefinite leave to remain route. So all of these are means you can use to attend settlement here in the UK. Those unskilled workers can attend settlement here in the UK after they've worked and live here in the UK for five consecutive years, subject to uh, meeting other eligibility criteria, right? Then the 10 years ILR route, it's a longer form of pre-settlement uh, process which some civil society has called for the scrapping of that route. They termed uh, that 10 years ILR route as long expensive racist visa route because the cost of maintaining that 10 years indefinite leave to remain route is really expensive and is termed racist visa route. For you to be able to meet up with the 10 years ILR route, you need to live in the UK legally on a pre-settlement visa. What it entails for you to meet up with the 10 years ILR route is really huge, right? You need to keep studying from one university to the other. Any means by which you are living here in the UK legally for 10 consecutive years, right? It can be through study, post-study, other form of visa classes that can keep you here on a pre-settlement other than being a skilled worker sponsored by an employer, right? You can study after your master's, go for a different uh, level of master's from one master's to the other after you've exhausted your uh, post-study work permit because you can only get post-study work permit after you complete the first master's degree you did here in the UK. After that, if you did another master's degree, you are not entitled to a post-study work permit. So if you want to maintain that 10 years ILR route, you need to keep studying or look for other class of visa that can keep you here 
on a pre-settlement status other than the skilled worker visa. So it's termed as a racist visa route because the cost of maintaining it is very high. And one bad part about it is once you overstay um, your visa by one day before you gain another visa, that automatically invalidates all the years you've been living here in the UK. Take for instance, you've lived here for eight consecutive years on different class of pre-settlement visa, right? For one reason or the other, you could not get means of extending it before, after the expiration of the current visa you are using. If by chance you missed the visa, um, the application by one day, you're supposed to apply today, which is the last day of your current validity of the visa you are using, and you apply the next day. The fact that you've overstayed for one day, right? That way automatically invalidate the eight years you've accumulated under the 10 years ILR route. So it's expensive. The risk involved any little glitch will invalidate all the years you've lived here in the UK. You need to start all over. There was one lady that was interviewed by Sky News. She lamented how overstay of just one day invalidated the seven years she has been living here on a pre-settlement visa. So they are calling for the government to scrap the 10 years ILR route, right? And unfortunately, most people are getting settlement here in the UK through the 10 years ILR route. I don't know how they are doing it. I don't know how they are funding it. And most of the persons that are getting this are from Asians. 51% right for 10 years ILR, while 57% for the skilled work visa, which is five years for the Asians, right? But in total, if you put that of Africans, which is about 36%, plus the 51% of uh, Asians, you get you find out you are getting about 87% of people that gain ILR through the 10 years ILR route. It's more than those that gain it with the five years. The five years is about 60, 67% of people gain ILR route through the five years, while 80 something percent gain ILR through the 10 years route. You can see the 10 years ILR route, people are using it to gain settlements here in the UK, far more than the five years ILR route. Expensive, you'll just be living here for 10 consecutive years on different class of um, a settlement visa. And most of these persons, they do it as studies from one st uh, level of study to the other and the likes. So, but some civil society and some NGOs are calling for the scrap of the 10 years ILR route in the UK because it's expensive and it's termed racist visa route. So, guys, if you don't know the difference between the five years ILR route and 10 years ILR route, I believe this video has explained it. The five years ILR route is basically a skilled worker visa. You need to gain an employment from an eligible sponsor that sponsor your stay here in the UK and you must work for that employer for the duration of the sponsorship, right? After five years, you will be eligible to apply for the settlement route. While that of the 10 years ILR route, you need to live here in the UK legally with different class of visa, most especially studied visa. Study from one master to the other, right? Just keep studying in as much you've lived here for 10 consecutive years. In that instance, the post-study route also counts towards the 10 years ILR route. The post-study route does not count towards the five years ILR route. If you did your master's for one year, what you know, your time of study do not count towards your stay here in the UK. And you had post-study for two years, before you gain skilled work at visa. So automatically, one year for study, two years for study, then five years skilled worker, you are spending about eight years before you can get your settlement. But under the, the 10 years ILR route, your time of study counts, your post-study counts, any other time you spend on study from one master's to another, from one PhD, all your study, in as much you've been here in the UK for 10 consecutive years, subject to meeting all the criteria you've not overstayed your visa for a single day you will be en entitled to, to apply for the settlement which is called the indefinite if to remain so these are the difference and so many persons are calling for the scrapping of the 10 years ILR route it's termed racist visa route because it's expensive Any overstay by one day i think even by one hour we invalidate all the years you've stayed here in the uk you have to start 
afresh start counting 10 years afresh just imagine after you've lived here for seven years like the lady that we are interviewed by sky news she lived here for seven years then she could not apply to renew a visa after the expiration of her current visa then she later applied stay here in the uk but she need to start all over again after she has spent seven years then she needs to start the 10 years afresh because she overstayed at visa so guys we've come to the end of today's video if you gain value for this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button to join the amazing ever growing family and for my returning subscribers thank you very much for always watching my video i do appreciate you guys see you in my next video